Hey guys, Adrian here from DigitalDojos.com and today we're going to be taking a look at how to fix LCD image burn or what may technically be called image persistence. Now this is an issue that I've experienced with my iMac, it's a couple years old now, and it's usually typically only that of older LCDs. You don't tend to see this in new LED displays like my cinema display because it's just not an issue nowadays. But LCD burn or image persistence, whatever you want to call it, is an issue not just with Macs, you, you tend to see it in... Uh, in either monitors or in cases like the iMac where it's an all-in-one where it generates more heat because everything is in the one enclosure. Essentially, this is the issue where if you have a wallpaper, if you have an image as your background here, um, and then you change it to like a solid color or change it to anything, and you notice that there's still remnants left of that image. Maybe it's like you can see, I don't know, a part of a, a globe in this case. I have this globe. Maybe you can see like a part of a globe. In my case, you can't see here, but prior to this, I used to have a uh, little remnants left of one of my wallpapers in here in the bottom left corner where I could see it oh so slightly every time I would switch to a solid color wallpaper and that is what image burn is if you leave it on especially if you leave your monitor on for a long time it generates heat it kind of gets burned into the LCD now again this is issues for multiple monitors and I want to give my solution some tips that you can use to kind of help avoid that and furthermore um, correct that issue if you're having it now some of these tips are targeted towards that of the Mac but because it is a common issue in things like the iMacs the older ones not the newer ones um, so this may help people and again though this is something that you kind of take across as general information to your PCs Windows etc all that stuff so first off um, Something you can do to commonly avoid things like this, it's as simple. You open your system preferences or whatever you are in control panel. Setting things like energy saver and having your monitor go to sleep is a really, really easy way to avoid this. Now, this is something I didn't do a lot on my iMac. For the most part, nowadays, most people don't turn off their computers at night like they used to. It's something that is commonly just always running unless it's like a laptop or something. Uh, but for the most part, with things like this, you want to make sure the display goes to sleep. That way it's not constantly staying on. Maybe when you're asleep, when you're out and about, the image isn't, there's nothing coming out of the LCD in that case. Uh, you can put your display sleep settings within Energy Saver or whatever uh, operating system you're using. Now, for some... Um, a quick fix is also recommended actually by Apple. What they recommend you do if you do have it and it's not going away, they recommend one, you turn off display sleep to never. This is the first step. And then you set just a flat white image. Now this solution is kind of known as the counteracting the image burn. So you set a white wallpaper as your uh, background. And what this will do is it will just kind of counteract the image burn. You set your, dis your display never to sleep and then the white will kind of burn in and then essentially it just neutralizes that image burn. So that's a solution you can also try out if you're having it and it's not going away. Um, couple other things, your screensaver. I know this sounds really simple and really you know basic, but setting something like a screensaver to go off every now and then, what that does, instead of obviously turning off the display if you don't want it to be off or whatever, um, the screensaver just essentially has something in motion running while the computer's not in use. And that way, again, you're not having one static image just sit there for hours or whatever it may be to burn in. So setting something simple like a screensaver, obviously something 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 to the effect of uh, cycling through wallpapers. If you want to do that, you can do that, changing your wallpaper constantly. I mean, those are all simple things, but things that really do help out in terms of preventing image burn. Another thing I did to fix one of my issues when I had it, I went into displays here under my Mac uh, on the OS X system preferences. This is something you can do on most PC monitors or you know most monitors in general have this built in on the button on the side. You go into the settings to calibrate it or wherever your calibration settings are for your monitor, be it software or hardware, and you set up a new profile. So in this case on the iMac here, you can just set calibrate, welcome to the calibration assistant. This allows you to fine tune the colors, the gamma, all of that stuff, the contrast on your monitors. And when you go through this, I found that when I recalibrated my monitor, the thing simply just went away right away. Uh, the the burn of the images just corrected itself because the monitor had to recalibrate. So that's something you could also try on any LCD display that has image burn set in. By calibrating it, you may just be able to fix it there. Um, and then again, something simple out to the effect of your brightness, something that you may just want to adjust. Maybe it's especially on laptops and stuff like these because laptops tend to run a bit hotter, especially because they're, they're in, used in different environments, different situations, um, that they can really gain up a lot of heat. Adjusting your brightness, you don't if you don't always need it to be the full brightness um, and you don't want to completely turn off your screen, try adjusting the brightness every now and then because obviously the brighter it is, the higher the bulb, the LCD or you know the bulb in the back is outputting. So 
that all has to do with heat and, and image burn and all that stuff. So I know these are really basic, but these are things you can do to prevent and or fix your LCD uh, image burn, image persistence. If you guys have other tips, love to hear them down in the comments below. Hope this helps somebody out there. And of course, don't forget to check out digitaldojos.com. Hey guys, thanks for watching. Hope you're enjoying the content that's coming out. To show your support, please hit that like button. It takes just a second and it really helps me out. Of course, if you're not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe. And of course, you can check out all my previous videos, my low social network links down below. And of course, head over to digitaldojos.com for more information. If you guys want to go ahead and click the click to tweet link down below, I'm giving shout outs as I usually do to those who go out and, and tweet out the links to my videos. So again, a huge shout out to TX Brad again for retweeting out that link, being one of the first ones, the first three ones to retweet the link out for my last uh, video. Do check that out, guys. And again, thanks for watching. I'll catch you all in the next video.